Steve, how long is this uh, Zoom going to go? Probably 30, 40 minutes tops. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, we won't take long and, um, and then we'll hang around for questions that you might have. And our, our goal today is to be informative, not selling. Uh, and, you know, if, if what you see suits your, your program, then, uh, you know, we'd love to tell you how to get started and we'll jump in there. So let me give it just another 30 seconds and we'll get started. I know how a coach's world goes. You don't have many time slots to, uh, for sitting around, do you? <laughs> so it's like, I feel privileged to be able to get you for a little bit, so thank you. All right, well, let's get started. First off, uh, my name's Steve Schleter, and um, uh, with me is Tammy Young. Say hi, Tammy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and um, in fact, uh, we'll let Dustin in here. I go to speak review here. And so, uh, well, first and foremost, thank you for coming in to find out a little bit more about Never Ending Referrals for Market Centers. And Never Ending Referrals for Market Centers is actually a product that um, has been around for a while. It's now in its fourth ideation. And uh, it's just been uh, updated complete, uh, completely. And uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about today, first off, you know, why the program was created in the first place, uh, how it'll impact, you know, agents in your market center, and then take you through how do you implement this if, if you would like to get started. And, and first and foremost, um, you know, Tammy and I are, are both bold coaches. And Tammy, you started bold back when? That's been eight years. Eight years. And so, you know, going back and, you know, back when even was, it was classic bold and, you know, one of the challenges that we had with, with you know, all training in Keller Williams for many years, it was very transactional focused in nature. We, we were teaching agents to cold call, to uh, expired listings for sale by owners, uh, door knock, and nothing wrong with any of those things. And yet what we were neglecting was this piece called relationships and database. In fact, um, you know, going back all the way to Bold Classic even, uh, in session four, we had about, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes on database. And that was really about all. And so never any referrals was, was built to really close that gap. It was a need that, that I saw as a bowl coach um, that really wasn't being fulfilled out there. And it, and it really had gone back many years before that when Tony DeCello and I were on the shift book tour and, you know, Tony asked a question of the audience. He said, how many of you are you know, touching your database, you know, 28 to 33 times a year. Um, and it, this is back when it was, you know, before it was 36 touch. And we only had, you know, 3% of the room that were, were, were doing it at the high level that included the conversations with the people in their database. And I, I kept looking for answers. I kept looking for answers and it didn't come right away. But the challenge was Tony DeSell and I kept doing this informal little experiment month after month, year after year, and we kept noticing this gap that people weren't investing in their relationships. And, you know, one day it, it kind of hit um, that we, we just weren't having the conversation around our agents you know, on a regular basis that we needed to have. And that's when we invented DTD2. We launched that originally in my market centers, uh, later contributed that to Bold. And then, of course, in April 2019, when Bold went through a major rewrite, uh, the head coaches, uh, head Bold coaches, including myself and Tammy, uh, were there with Gary Keller and the Keller Williams University staff. And, you know, we made a decision that, you know, Bold was going to make a, make a big pivot or a tilt over towards relational. We, we were going to focus on relationships, conversations, database. And of course, that curriculum hadn't been really, really developed in uh, we donated, you know, probably 85 or 90 percent of the database content in bold uh, actually comes from never ending referrals. And yet it's only about only makes up about 30 percent of the total content that we bring to agents through this program. And so what never ending referrals kind of represents is the opportunity 
for you to take into your market center a robust training platform uh, that's interactive with your students to really fill in that other 70% and reinforce also what they learn in bold. It's almost like getting a taste of bold uh, ongoing when you're not having it. So, and Tammy, I want to go back to why we, you know, created this in the first place and why it's important. I know you've got some perspective on that that I'd like you to share with these guys. Well, I just think that, you know, even more so now than ever before, you know, agents, they're, they're burned out, uh, they're stressed out, and, and they're chasing brand new business. It's like, it's so much easier to renew and rekindle a relationship than it is to constantly be replacing them all the time. And, and because we really have never taught them how to have value-added conversations outside of calling and saying, who do you know that wants to buy, sell, or invest in real estate uh, that I could talk to today, they only make that call one time. And we're bringing these value-added conversations to them uh, so that they have the reason to call and, and it really does bring value to those people. And, you know, Steve, I said, when I got into this and we started teaching database, I've got an education company in my region and uh, we're, we're in about 38 of the market centers here. And I teach a, a class on database that is a lot of the principles behind never any referrals. And, and it is one of the top three requested classes that I have in the entire region because we know that we're missing, we're missing that piece of giving them a business that is sustainable and predictable. Yeah. Well, and especially in this world, and I spoke to this on the PC call for you guys that were on that the other day, is, is that, you know, I th we should go and, and create opportunities for leads and appointments for our agents. And, and as I talked about the other day, I said that really should be a means to an end. And, and it's relationships that they're getting. It's not a lead or an appointment. It's a new relationship that, you know, should be three or four transactions over their career and, you know, three, four or five referrals over their career, that relationship fostered well. And yet we've seen so many agents just move from transaction to transaction to transaction. And it's the reason we see in our industry that we absolutely, uh, you know, how many, what the NAR survey said, what 80, 90% of, of sellers would use the same agent again and like less than 20% do. And it's kind of worse with buyers. And we actually have to solve that problem as an industry, or we're going to wind up in a very dependent set, not, not our agents, us as a whole industry, because there's so much capital coming in, attempting to get in the middle and disrupt us. This is, it's a passion for me. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's more than a product or, or, or something that we do. It's, I've got this personal mission that we're going to figure out how to take control of our industry back one relationship at a time. And you guys are the tip of the spears. You know, y'all are the ones that bring them in, bring them up, get them going in the right direction. You know, Debbie, I know you do a really good job of that. You know, you know, I've heard some of your experiences there and in, in your market center. Um, you know, we heard Melanie yesterday on the call and, you know, they, they piloted the new program for us there in Austin uh, with great success. So, what we see is, is this is an opportunity for a PC program is number one, it, it, you said this, Tammy, it really gives you a system to coach to. Talk, expand on that. Well, I said this, uh, never any referrals to me uh, for a PC program. If I'm a PC coach, I think of this as my PC program in a box. It literally like tells me exactly what I'm coaching to every week. It, all the lessons are there. All the accountability is built in. And it's, um, these are really foundational uh, proven tactics that are working and getting success. So to me, like I, I just said, uh, this is kind of the end game, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and so, you know, and Matt talked yesterday about calling the plays. And I think what's really great about this, it gives you some great plays to call. And, and, and really those built around the relationships, uh, around, you know, client events, you know, around uh, them succeeding with their database. And, and you're really, it gives you an opportunity to really recruit to your program uh, as a system. Uh, I know we're doing that at San Antonio City View right now here is, is it's become a major focus as part of our uh, recruiting. We've got a, a very substantial uh, R1 campaign going on uh, where we've identified, you know, 700 agents that we're targeting 
uh, initially, we've got about a total of 2,000. We start off with 700 that are not with Keller Williams that we're targeting and we're making our coaching platform and our never-ending referral system uh, the foundation of the value offering that we're reaching out to them. It's not just that we have a coaching program. We're able to coach them to filling a gap. Uh, and the, the recruiter is trained to kind of identify that database gap and then move them right into this system. So that being said, um, I think the other part of this is, you know, if you face the same problem we identified, and that is how do we have an ongoing conversation around the database and, and have it become sticky is it has to become part of the daily conversation. Um, it can't be just a conversation now and then. It has to happen every day. And that's why D we were created DTD2 is we said, okay, every week there's got to be a conversation around who you're having a conversation with, with your database. And that was the beginning. That was the genesis. That's what started off the journey to building never ending referrals. It all started with just DTD2. And then Tony DeCello's encouragement said, hey, you need to turn this into a coaching program. And, and of course, uh, we did. So I want to tell you a little bit about the program structure. And uh, if we go into this, it's uh, I'm going to pull up some screen share for you. Now, the program is locally facilitated. And so what, what that means is you do it on your time, on your schedule, when it works for you and your market center. And let me see if I can go here. It's, it's video based and yet it's extremely interactive. It's not a just sit and watch videos. Um, the structure to it is a lesson lab, lesson lab, lesson lab format with each session being about two and a half hours. It's designed to be delivered one session a week for six weeks. And so session one, this, and this gives you an outline. And this was in the email I sent out if you got that. So, um, and it's a flyer that you can use to share with your uh, folks what never ending referrals is and what it covers. And so that's just kind of the format. Setting the foundation is really just that, getting their mindset right. Uh, embracing their behavior and social media. Uh, this is where we really deal with their behavioral styles. You know, every behavioral style has some kind of challenge. And I see Deb, you shaking your head there. I mean, everybody's got some kind of stinking thinking about why they can't be successful with relationships. And, and it may be unconscious versus conscious, but we really address that. And then we get into some simple social media tactics. Session three, we get into the positioning battle and the business to business opportunity to grow their database. This opportunity can be 100, 150 ads to somebody's database uh, that are real additions. And we teach them how to do it in a way where these are real relationships that are highly valued. Client events and parties, um, session five, we get into geo farming, the other database. And then we get into all this value added of becoming the trusted advisor. You know, Gary says, be the local hyper-local economist of choice. And we get into the mofers and the conversations that create that. And then session six is we get into video, their 36 touch program, and then we pull it all together with their schedule. And when they leave the program, they leave with, you know, a, their customized GPS, we call it a one, four, five, because we build it on the four laws of the database. Now, in facilitating the program, for each session, well, here, there's, there's a workbook for the student. You know, here's session two on, on behavior. And, you know, we, we get into this whole conversation. But each session has a facilitator's guide. So if you'll look at this one for session two, we walk you through the entire setup, getting the day started, uh, questions to solicit involvement for lessons since the previous week, uh, complete the scoreboard. By the way, there is a scoreboard and a scorecard component uh, for accountability. So you'll see here's the first lab. We get into their behavioral style, um, magic question lab, and then the next lab, active listening, acknowledge and validate. Uh, so you've got another lab at the 29 minute mark on the video. And then the social media lab. And so the, the, we break them into groups of three to five here and, and get them practicing what they're learning. And then of course your final lab wrap up 
And each session is equipped with a one thing that we would say, if you'll just do this one thing this week, you'll move your, your business forward in this respect. Um, and then of course there's the scorecard. And you know it's really um, pretty exciting to see a student's you know, get engaged. I'm actually doing uh, the new version of it our, myself in our San Antonio Market Center. And this was last week, you know, the agents in triads practicing the behavioral, uh, the behavior based script based for their behavioral style. Um, and we showed them how to, how to do that. And they're practicing it in triads uh, going through this. So this is kind of the experience you get to create in the room you know, with never ending referrals. Um, I think the, so Tammy, I mean, before I kind of go, uh, and then I'm going to go to the portal and any, any other thoughts here on, you know, facilitating this or putting this to work uh, that I didn't touch on there? No, no. Uh, I was going to see actually, if you had the link to that in your drive where you could put that in the chat, uh, there were several that have not got it. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll email all that to everybody that's on the webinar after we're done. Yes, so Stephen, sure that's a that great too. question. Um, each session is about two and a half hours with all the labs Yeah, um, is, is the span of time that it covers. And it has and, programmed in the video, it has a programmed um, break. Uh, so there's a 15 minute break programmed into it. We know adult learners, you know, they, they can only take in what their butt and bladder will in, in, endure, right? So... Uh, you got to do that. So let me go take you to the portal here and let's see if I can get there. And so what happens when you enroll, oops, let me see if I can get myself there. So when you roll your market center, um, you'll have access to the never ending referrals portal. So here you are, never ending referrals for market centers. And You'll notice there's an introduction. It takes you through a few of the FAQs, um, email password updates, but now we get into course introduction and facilitator instruction. So you'll wanna be able to watch these and we take you through right through what is involved in facilitating never ending referrals in your market center. And then everything you need to facilitate the program is right here on the portal. So if we go to session one, for example, you notice right here, the first video, it says session one, video guides, workbook and resources. So you'll simply run the program right here from the portal. The video is right here, ready to go. You'll go to school, full screen, hit the video and you're into the lesson. So you notice, although it's a two and a half hour course, there's only an hour, 13 minutes of video instruction here. Uh, the rest is lab time, you know, actually student engagement. Uh, you'll notice as you scroll down here, there's a description of what's happening in each lesson. And you notice the downloads. So all your downloads are right over here. You've got the workbook, facilitator's guide, uh, lead generation, uh, the handout, uh, DTD2 handout, scorecard, scoreboard, peer partner agreement. All of that's right here. And that's the same place for every listen, lesson. There's any additional videos you might want to run. There's one here, for example, on the three attempt approach, and that's there and accessible if you want to just share it as a bonus in a team meeting or in one of your group coaching sessions. Uh, and some of those bonus videos videos will help you carry uh, some of the message uh, into the market center. Uh, let me back up for a second. So again, you just flow through here and same thing, session two click on it, there's your video and your downloads, everything's accessible and ready for you to go right there and put this to work. So the investment to do this, let me kind of walk you through. Now, when we launched this originally, uh, and we kind of put it on the shelf during COVID, this, this is a program that's best delivered in a market center where you can really orchestrate, facilitate the groups um, walk the room, be engaged with the people. Um, and, you know, my experience with, with in Zoom, it, it, you can do it via Zoom, but it just doesn't translate the same. And so we put it on the shelf during COVID. And few market centers continued to run it, you know, during that time, but we were not promoting it. And then during that time, uh, Tammy and I went in the studio back in uh, July and refilmed 
uh, a big portion of this. So you've got some of the classics and some of the, the new updates in our program. In fact, you get two Tammies. You get short hair and long hair Tammy uh, as, as you go through the program. And um, previously, the program was an annual subscription at $4.99 a month. So a market center would enroll and they'd have access it, to it, you know, as long as they were enrolled at $4.99 a month and it was a minimum annual commitment. Uh, and so it's a big investment. And so we made a decision that what we were going to do is make this available um, on a per use basis. And essentially the investment to run this is $1,398 each time you run it. It's payable in four, 466 a month for three months. So you can pay it out over three months. And that gives you 12 weeks access. Now the course is six weeks. And if you wanna run it twice in 12 weeks, go for it. Um, if, you know, we give you 12 weeks access because we want you to, you know, if you have to break a couple of weeks because you have a regional event or a red day or mega camp going on, you've got room to do that. Uh, also, we want you to have the material for a few weeks in advance to go through it and be familiar with it and be ready to deliver the content at a really high level. Even though you've got a facilitator's, facilitator's guide and you could just use that without even having previewed the video, don't do that. You know, watch it, be prepared to create a really great experience. And, and the, that facilitator guide is your friend. Um, and now what, what we've had people do in the past is zero base this. Right now I've got 38 agents uh, in it here and, and it's, they, they paid $49 a piece. So that's $1,862. And so we got all, you know, 38 of them, a nice binder that it's in. And, you know, we're still way to the good on the financial part of this. And anytime you have somebody in something for an extended period of time, it's nice for them to have skin in the game and, you know, to expect them to show up. Now, you don't have to do that. You can get a sponsor. You can just make the investment, um, you know, either way. And yet, um, you know, $49 more than paid for the material and the program, uh, you know, to be able to run that here. So it's something that you can do zero base. And I would honestly recommend that you do it quarterly, uh, you know, at a minimum twice a year, maybe when you're not running bold, um, you're running never ending referrals and you're keeping that conversation, you know, active in the market center. So those are the highlights of, of what we have to offer. In fact, in, to, to enroll, you simply go to the MAPS Coaching website and look for never ending referrals for market centers. It's now active uh, as of yesterday. And you can enroll your market center as soon as you're ready and realizing that you've got 12 weeks to act on it. And here's what I'm gonna say for this group. Go ahead and, and, and make the investment. Go pre take 30 days to preview it, go through it, you know, get prepared to present it. And if you go through it and you decide that this is not for, for me or for my market center, just let us know before 30 days is up and we'll refund you the money. And if it's not for you, we don't, we don't want to take your money. Uh, we just want to be your partner and bring this database conversation into your market center. And if you'd like to go preview it for 30 days, now MAPS doesn't know I told you this, that you get a refund, but I'll, that's one of those plead ignorance, beg forgiveness. Y'all know how that works, right? Yeah. So I, I just, Tammy, I just did that. Uh, you know, and, and, and yet uh, they always support us in everything we do. And so we're so grateful for MAPS uh, and all of that. But uh, let me pause there. Um, we're here to, to educate you on the program, answer your questions and if you think the investment's right for you, we'd, we'd love to have you on the journey. And, and we're always here to be a resource at your side as you're doing this. It's, we're, we are available to answer questions, guide you, be a resource for you. So let me have any questions, thoughts, or you know, maybe some ahas from anybody that's you know, worked the program before uh, or been a part of our program. Hey, Steve, well, I, this is Cheryl. Go ahead. Uh, we, we did it way, 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 way back in the day. You did and, it way, um, way, way back. Was that when we were doing it live? Yeah. 
that was way, 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 that was ideation one. We're on ideation four. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and it, well, and here's the thing I would just like to encourage my colleagues that it just continues to get better. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that my program is built around the DTD2. Nice. Cheryl, and, where are uh, you? Which, where, which market center are you in? Uh, Naperville. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be bold for us. Yeah. Y'all um, are awesome. Way, way, way. Way back. Way, way, way. Um, anyway, oh, way, 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 way backing here. So, yeah. <laughs> I know. So, um, I just want to encourage everybody that it is well worth the investment, um, and it will you will it will you will see it change the lives of our agents and how they run their businesses. Um, and when they win, we win. Yeah, you got it. Thanks, yeah, and Steve, then we, for we we do have the individual agent version where an agent can enroll in never ending referrals and. You know, go through with Tam, for with Tammy and I for thirty nine dollars a month. They can be part of our community. It's a uh, it's a you know five month commitment for an agent who wants to do that. So you know if you're just getting your program started, or you know, and somebody wants to continue that later and just be part of it, that's an option as well. And yet, this is not that product. This is an entirely different experience that you get to facilitate uh, and get people together in a group. Yeah. It's it's built to be a coaching program than, than what we do in the individual one. Although we've had folks with us, you know, guys for over two years mm -hmm. that have been with us and they still tune in, you know, three times a month to join Steve and I. So, you know, they're seeing the results, which is really, um, it's pretty phenomenal. Yeah. And by the way, the video quality, I want you to know is, is uh, we have a cinematographer who has, does all our video work. Um, this is, you know, in fact, I can give you a brief preview of some of the video here and you can just see that the, the quality of the experience for your student, let me see if I can pull that up real quick, is- We did, we did not do it on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, we did not, yeah, so we did not. <laughs> Welcome to Never Any Referrals community. My name is Tammy Youngst, and I am joined here by the infamous Steve. So I won't, you know, there's four Steve. minutes of that, but in the email I sent out, there was a preview of that video, that four minute video preview is there. So if you want to get a, a taste of what the quality experience is, um, it is top drawer. We spent, uh, no expense was spared uh, in creating a quality experience for your agent. So questions. Diana, Diana's hands up. Go ahead, Hi, Diana. Thanks so much, Tammy and Steve. I'm in Birmingham, Alabama, Market Center in Hoover. Um, so tell me, how is this different if you go in and take the individual maps class, other than the facilitator portion? Well, that's the that's the primary piece. Here's the challenge. If they take the, the individual class, I can't see if they're doing the work. You know, I, there, there's the, the degree of accountability is not high. Um, they can hide. And, you know, if they miss a class, did they go back and watch the recording? We have no way to know this. And, and so the reason we built this program was exactly that reason. We said, okay, this program in an environment where somebody is orchestrating accountability, is making sure that they're practicing and implementing what they're learning, is what this needs to be at its highest effectiveness. At a minimum, come do the individual course. You know, if we really want to foster high, high levels of adoption, then we really have to create a conversation around it in our market centers with people like yourself. Okay. So is the Facebook group, the $39 separate from the PC coaching? I'm sorry, one more time. The Facebook group that you have that's thirty nine dollars a month is, no, that, the, is that completely separate? The the thirty nine dollar a month individual program it's it's uh, we have three webinars uh, a month that are live with Tammy and I and they have a portal where all the recordings reside. Uh, there they have a Facebook group, but that's not that's not what they're paying for. That's just there. Uh, what they're paying for is the three live webinars a month with us. 
um, where we're taking them. Now that session is set up as eight lessons because we only have about an hour, you know, each session and we have a 30 minute interview each session there. And by the way, we've incorporated into these lessons for the market center uh, interview clips with people that are applying some of these things. We have, uh, for example, uh, session two, we have Kara Mole and uh, the language of sales. And she takes them through uh, how to acknowledge and validate, you know, how to really build rapport and influence with people. Uh, and then in their workbook, we have the actual entire interview link for them so that they have resources that you can lead them to. And here's what's cool is, is, you know, Diana, you get to create discussions in your market center around all that learning. The, firm, the individual that goes through it, they go through it and they're an island and they're not having the conversation with anybody that afternoon or day, you know, potentially. So that's the big difference. Well, and I, th I think too, Steve, you know, when, when we look at the magic sauce of, of what has made Bold so successful uh, is, is that accountability and bringing people together. Mm -hmm. And when you think of creating that environment in your market center, then you're going to see productivity go way up. And it's because yeah. they're being held to those standards and they're, they're being held accountable. So now, now your coaching conversations are around, did you implement X, Y, and Z? And, and you can have those conversations. It makes it, yeah. it makes it a lot more impactful. Hey, Bowtie Ben. Bowtie Ben, that's awesome. Yeah, so this is, I guess, a clerical kind of question, but um, since I don't always make the financial decisions at my market center, do you guys have like a flyer that I can utilize to present this to some of the uh, some of my some of my other leadership? You know, we've got that six session session flyer that's the overview, and yeah, you, did y'all hear Mark King yesterday on the call talk about flyers? No, we don't have a flyer. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that was funny. He was funny yesterday. You probably missed that, um, but. Uh, Here's what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a little video with uh, the flyer, which is the breakout uh, that's video that's less than two and a half minutes that you can share with your leadership. How's that? That'd be awesome. I really appreciate that. No, give me till end of the week. Okay. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you got that. Okay. Uh, Carla. Lisa. I am a PC over um, multiple market centers. Would each market center need to make the investment or could I run it like? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one, like, you know, we, would it be one investment or three investments uh, it's to run investment the three market, market center right now? We are working on a multi-market center package. Um, and we'll probably have that announcement in two weeks. Um, okay. Yeah. So if you are over multi-market centers, um, there'll be an option for you there. I was going to, uh, Lisa, you had asked, and that's a great question. She said, because so much of this is also covered in bold, what is here that is not in bold? And, and so while about 80, 85% of the database content that is in bold was donated uh, to bold from never ending referrals, it's only about 30% of our content. Mm -hmm. So there's still a whole lot more that bold does not go into because remember bold is is more mindset as well as the skills, mm -hmm. right? Although I will say, Stephen, I bring that in since we are both old coaches. Yeah, yeah. So they, they wind up, you know, it's it's, you know, it'll be like bringing a dose of bold, uh, yet only deeper on database, and much deeper. Just that whole session on behavioral styles um, is really a big, big one, because that's the big thing that gets in the way of so many agents. In fact. When, when Gary looked at the outline of narrating referrals, he said, I'm so glad that you guys are covering behavior because that was my biggest challenge. You know, fortunately, my goals were big enough that I was willing to be uncomfortable to do what I needed to do. And yet that gets in the way of a lot of people. Uh, Debbie Connor, I know you had your hand up a minute ago. Did we answer your question? I didn't have a question. I just wanted to give it a plug. Uh, you know, I started running Special Forces 12-week assault last year, and we took um, the DTD2 and plugged it in. Mm -hmm. And the agents that are that have signed up with Special Forces to do uh, 26 contacts a day, this really whacks that number down, right? And when they pay attention to, to where their business is coming from, it, it comes from database so, because we break it down. Where, where did our 
where did our leads come from? Where did our business come from and our transactions? And it was always, I'd say 90% of the time back to database. Mm -hmm. So for them to learn this and walk into, you know, even a higher level accountability course is, is just huge. It's the biggest win that you'll ever have for your program and your market center. Thank you, Debbie. Appreciate that. And, and it's, you know, and, and these are all the things we took in, in consideration in building the program. We, we looked at what are the challenges in the market center in terms of creating database adoption. And I think really as the coaches, it is kind of our obligation to bring and foster database adoption when people are coming into this business. If, if we don't get that right early, they're going to get in habits that, that you know, for, for them to graduate we call it ignition here in the City View Market Center for them to graduate uh, and go on to the next level and be in even to get into coaching at the next level. They have to have 200 people in a database with all those important pieces of information. You know, we, we want to set them up for, you know, success. And then we start coaching them around these models. Um, and, you know, it's the long play. Um, and yet it's the smart play. And you can find ways to close the gaps in the short term. Uh, while they're getting this, you know, condition and, you know, the, the tools, in fact, we have a whole script book and all the resources that they need to go put this to work uh, in the download. So thank you, Debbie. Any other questions, thoughts Christine. that you might have? We got yep, Christine. Christine. Hi, yeah. guys. Um, yeah, so um, I, I have no doubt that this works. I, I've been in PC position for um, two years started my program during COVID. And I really did just push them working on the database with the DTD2 system as their follow-up plan. Um, our first year together as newly licensed agents, as myself as the coach, we closed 21 deals. Our second year together, we closed 65. So I'm curious, other than my stats, if we're to present this to our market center, do we have kind of like better stats than that, that I could say, we really dive deep into this, it'll benefit everyone? Well, here's the thing, it's not just for your PC program. I mean, if you want to run right. this throughout the market center, um, you know, it's going to, you know, foster the long play. You know, the thing that we're tracking on the scorecard, and, and this has been, and, and this is, because we've got them for six weeks, the results that they get in the program get realized later, don't they? And, and so one of the things that we're tracking, and this is what's really exciting. In fact, I had a discussion with Dusty Oglesby the other day, who's now leading the bold team. I said, I really, you know, um, we, we just changed this. This is not, I don't have the correct copy of it, um, but it's referrals slash nurtures generated, you know, and or appointments. And one of the things that uh, I think we make the mistake of doing and tracking is we track too many lag measures and not enough lead measures. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we really work to make them aware of in networking referrals is every, you know, if 70 to 80% of your business comes from follow-up, then you got to have a system for follow-up and for nurturing leads that you generate. And that's one of the big things that we track and never in your referrals is how many nurturers did you generate? How many people did you put in the pipeline? Referrals did you get? Appointments did you set? And nurturers where people raised their hand and said, I'm going to do something in the next, you know, 12 months. And that's a nurture. And so this program being six weeks in link is focused on lead measures versus the lag measure. Now, what we know from doing it, you know, for since 2014 is... Tammy and I, what happens, Tammy, when we're walking around family reunion, uh, what happens to us? <laughs> I can't go to the restroom. <laughs> 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 I like I get costed in all the hallways. I'm like, good Lord. And, and initially it was bold. And over the last, you know, several years, it's, it's never any referrals. I mean, it's literally... Uh, you know, people that are just like, this is changing my life, my business, and I feel like I have my life back. And so, I mean, Steve is right. You know, when, when one of the things that I thought of, Steve, when you were just talking about that 
is, you know, when we think about even not just the database adoption, our technology adoption and how important that is in a market center. So when we start talking about nurtures, you know, think about opportunities. Uh, you know, Steve, you know, you've heard me say this too many times. I'm kind of obsessed with opportunities. That is like the coolest part of, of command because of what it can show you and what they can see. And uh, so when we start talking about, you know, tracking those nurtures and getting those things in there, uh, we're going to, we're going to change it all. We're going to change the narrative of, of this industry. Yeah. And so, I mean, you know, we can't give you a scorecard and say, here's the average contracts because we're not tracking that. You know, we are strictly focused on lead measures, you know, getting them into the activities over the six weeks. And, you know, that's, that's our main charge of, of what we're doing here. But yet what happens to us, we get accosted everywhere we go, you know, family reunion, mega camp. And, you know, and then you look at people like David Huff, Huffaker, who runs a $130 million team on the foundations of never-ending referrals. And it's the foundation of what they do in database. So we know it's working. Um, you know, can, can I give you, here's the numbers? No, I, I just can trust, you know, seven years of experience of doing it and what it's created. And here's the thing, um, you know, you can send them off to do our individual program and at a minimum do that. This is about creating a database culture in your market center, and it won't happen by accident. Uh, and the more people you can have around each other having the same conversations, the faster this takes hold in your market center. And I know, you know people like Debbie and, you know, and, and Cheryl, you know, they've been having this conversation around just, you know, DTD2, you know, and never in referrals for quite some time. And now it's become part of the conversation. And it makes you know, database adoption, a natural thing. And it becomes, this is the way we do it here. And that's when you know you've won the game. Yeah. All right. Any other questions, thoughts? Other, you know, we'll, we'll wrap it up. And then I uh, uh, want to make sure we've addressed any questions, cares, or concerns anybody's got. And like I said, go ahead and go to MAPS Coaching. It's never any referrals for market centers. And, you know, get signed up, realize you've got it for 12 weeks, it's six weeks to deliver, and take 30 days with it. And if it's not for you, just, you know, let us know in 30 days, we'll give you a refund. And, um, you know, we, we, it's got to be the right thing. It's got to be win-win or it's no deal. Absolutely. Yeah. And work to zero base it. You know, that's what we've seen. The majority of the folks that use the product in the market center are zero basing it, whether they're uh, utilizing sponsors to cover it, or they're charging the agents to have some skin in the game. Yeah. And, you know, when you think about what Steve just shared, you know, what was it? It was almost $1,900 you got just from the 38 agents. I said, oh my gosh, you have like money left over to like either you could do a celebration at the end every time somebody, you know, you have a graduation. And, and so just use it to create some energy around it in the market center. Yeah. yeah. Debbie, thank you for that. We appreciate it. And yeah. um, thank you to all for being with us today. And uh, any questions, reach out. My email, my direct email is steves at kw.com, steves at kw.com. And Tammy, it's Tammy J at K, Tammy with an I, J at kw.com. Any questions at all, or if you'd like me to you know, talk to your leadership, um, happy to schedule a you know, 15 minute conversation with your leadership. Uh, if need be. And then uh, I will have a recording of this uh, sent out to y'all as well. And so th this could be something that you might choose to share uh, with your leadership team uh, to get adoption uh, as well. All right. Thank you, folks. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week.